Hello everyone, this is Gemini Jets 1975 finally coming at you with another video. This time it's of course an unboxing. This is uh, several months of uh, orders I've got. I don't even remember exactly what's in here, but um, the first box is from Waffle Collectibles. So let's open it up here. Of course, Waffle wraps your models up in paper. So let's get wait. How far back is this? Oh my God, twenty twenty one. Alright, so this is from a Waffle Collection sale. This is a Braniff International, uh, Dragon Wings Braniff International 727-200. I believe this is, yes, this is the blue. So let's open her up here. Because I've got the Gemini's, so I'll uh, kind of beef up the Brana fleet here a little bit. All right. Well. Okay, so let's put... Oh my goodness. Took a little doing there. All right, so let's put, take a look at the model here. All right, so. All right, guys. It's not focusing terribly well. There you go. So this is the uh, Flying Colors Blue light blue darker blue cheat line flying colors so very very nice add that to my brand of collection and then i got the other one because i already have the green so let's get so there's the blue and then this one's going to be the red i wish they had the orange Day, meaning dragon wings, but that's all right. I don't mind. Okay. Get this nose. Like I said, I've had these for a few. I've haven't really been. Well, dare I say, I haven't really been terribly interested in model collecting or models in general for a couple months so the uh, latest gemini release announced yesterday with the twa md80 definitely sparked got my attention so if it takes a special model announcement to do it so be it okay so here is the red all right ochre bottom Red Top, Brand of International, the usual. Okay, so we got both of those. All right, now for, this is from Jet Collector. This, okay, I ordered these back in July of last year, and it took forever for some of these to come in. So, uh, let's see, what do we have here, guys? All right, so this one I'm extremely excited about. This is the Royal Air Maroc um, 787-9. All right, by uh, JC Wings. So, yes, 
the new, the, the much loved and beloved JC787 mold. Absolutely stunning. Whoa. Okay. Well, at least I didn't knock it off. Wow. Oh my god, guys. This is an absolutely incredible looking model. All I can say is wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So let's get... Holy moly. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at that. Royal Air Maroc. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. And of course, the wing flex that is not outrageous now. Wow. Okay. That, that was so worth the wait, guys. All right. Okay, this one is a, this is called Retro Models, Tupolev TU-104 in the Aeroflot livery, Soviet Aeroflot, so it's a CCP registration. Okay, let's get this puppy to open up, which is easier. Man, if, if I still had, if I didn't have this little phone tripod, this would be uh, practically impossible. Whoa, ho, 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 watch it, watch it. Okay, wow. This is probably the, well, I couldn't, I shouldn't say this is the oldest because, um, I do have a Convair, I mean, I, uh, I'm sorry, a Constellation, TWA Constellation. Speaking of TWA, that TWA MD-80, that, I mean, as uh, Red River Aviation said yesterday, it is the CRJ, Delta CRJ-900 for the retro collectors, because literally for nine years since the MD-80 mold came out, we have been wanting that model, and finally, it is here, so, yeah, okay, this bad boy actually has an antenna, very, very interesting airplane, wow, all right, very, very interesting plane, okay, I have no idea what I'm going to use that for. Probably just a shelf piece, but, you know. All right, now for the first of two Delta A321neos by Panda. So I ordered, I pre-ordered the two Delta A321neos from Panda. Because they were two different registrations. I thought it was my best chance to get more than one since it's going to be such a huge part of their fleet and the fact that i really don't like collecting you know model more than one model of the same registration i, I just have a weird thing about that some people don't mind it other people do as well but yeah i just i don't like it all right so let's get this is the first of two. So let's take a look at this pretty thing. Of course, your typical Delta livery. All right. And then there's the straight on view. Got the shark loots. Very, very nice. This is uh, this registration. Does it even say on the box? Um. N501DA. All right. So this is the first of uh, the first of Delta's A321 Neos N501DA. Interesting selection for the registration. Second one is N502. Oh, imagine that. 
how appropriate. All right, so same thing, different number. But yeah, it took Panda an incredibly long time to produce these because this is what Jet Collector was waiting on the entire time I was waiting because the JC Wings aircraft actually came in before the Panda, which is absolutely crazy if you ask me. But what do I know? Okay. All right, so let's take a look at this aircraft. Standard Delta livery. Beautiful looking airplane. Everything. Oh, look, a loose wing. Oh. So Gemini is not the only company. Or NG for that matter. To have. But it's not loose. I'm not really going to worry about it. Because I really had to stick that thing in there. But if it comes out again. I'll glue it. Not a big deal. Interesting. Very interesting everybody. Alright. So. Let's get. I believe that's it for the jet collector. Yeah, that had four models. Okay. So next, all right, so this is an Aero Classics. This is from Sasquatch Models. Okay, so I got, oh God, I got four models. I forgot about the four. Okay. So first is the Spirit, I believe this is an A320 Neo. Um, and it, it looks like, guys, that the JetBlue Spirit merger uh, is not going to be allowed to happen. That's uh, word around the campfire that it's not going to be that the DOJ is going to sue to block the merger. Okay, so whether or not that happens, we will see. It remains to be seen. But that is what sources are saying. So, anyway. Alright, so I did not realize I actually had so many models in this group. Hmm. Beautiful selection, guys. All right. So we got that. Let's take a look at this. So this is the revised uh, Spirit livery, where Spirit is basically completely colored in. I mean, there are a couple of spaces here where you got little slashes inside of it. But it's not nearly at, oh, and then, uh, you know, spirit.com. So they took the, uh, oh, what was that? The uh, bear fare off of the uh, the engines. So, yeah, a little, little revised livery. So this is more up to date. Very, very nice model. Pretty happy with that. Okay, next is the real, these are the real reasons that I got this thing. All right, so this is a Delta Express. Um, 732 in the widget livery. Although, this is actually just a regular 732. So this one will make an incredible counterpart to my Gemini 732. Okay. Some people said, they, okay, so when this was announced, uh, Sasquatch models, they were the only ones that had any because they were not an official release. It was like, these are supposed to be um, samples. Okay. 
and Sasquatch had them on the website. So I found out about it and snatched it up faster than you could say Delta. Okay, so here is the 732 widget. Incredible. My second Delta 732. So I flew on these many times when I was a kid, so very happy about that. Okay, so next, so that's the third Delta model. Okay, so this one is one of the, uh, this is the Delta Express in the widget livery. I've been wanting Delta Express models other than the Wavy Gravy for as long as I can remember. And finally, okay, it looks like the nose, I mean, the nose could be a little bit blue, but I don't really care. I can't tell. And, you know, but yeah, it's, it's Delta Express widget. I mean, how can you go wrong there? It's, you know, the, the almost, the, it's the coup de grace of the Delta models that have not been made yet for classic, whoops, for classic lovers. All right, so here, you know, if you can see this very well, because I know it's not focusing very well. There we go. There's Express, Delta, the Windows, and of course the widget. So the next one would be the Delta Shuttle, the 727 Delta Shuttle. So I hope they make that. But yes, beautiful, incredible livery. My all-time favorite Delta livery, as I'm sure people who have watched me for a while know. Okay, last but not least is the fifth Delta model of this batch. Okay. This is the Delta Express in the Ron Allen livery. Now, I, I don't know why, but I used to despise the Ron Allen livery. And, I mean, when it first came out, I liked it. And then as time went on, I learned to not like it. In fact, I, I, I hated it. And I don't know why now, because now I actually have grown to almost love it. Because I got the 764 by Dragon Wings. I love that model. I, I have a couple of other Ron Allens. And then, you know, I just, the, the Boeing products are stunning in the Ron Allen livery. Okay, so if you can see this. All right, so Express is in red, Delta, the modified widget. Uh, and then, of course, the uh, Ron Allen livery tail. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a clean, it's a nice, clean livery. And like I said, I really don't know why I didn't like it, but, you know, that's human nature. You can change your mind, and I definitely have changed my mind. So that is Delta number five. Now, can any of you guess what this final model is going to be? Okay, so I was, you know, I've been over here thinking all this time, they're never going to release the Team USA, the Delta, the Delta Team USA A330 Neo, because licensing and all of these other reasons that they give that, you know, they couldn't do it. Well, guess what? They finally did. Now, there was absolutely no... What do you call it? Okay, so you got the Gemini box. Look inside. 2022 release. So let's take a look at this beautiful A330 Neo. Wow. Oh my god. 
This is, without a doubt, an incredibly stunning model. Okay. I mean, whoo! This is just incredible. Okay. So let's bring this thing over here. Wow. Okay, so Team USA... Delta, the American flag, the uh, sideways or angled widget. Wow, this is <laughs> completely stunning. Completely amazing. I don't know which I like better, the Royal Air Maroc or this. Because they are both absolutely stunning. So you got that antenna, that antenna. Uh, doesn't look like there's a bottom one. The Delta Belly, Gemini Jets. Wow. Oh, yeah, and then there's that far aft antenna. Here's your uh, uh, SATCOM dome. So, yes. If you need a Delta wide body, collect Delta. You, If it's still available on the, uh, the Delta store, please go get one because this model is stunning without a doubt all right guys so let's take a look at the whole haul here all right so you got the delta express widget the delta express ron allen the widget 732 the aeroflot tu 104 spirit a320 neo Two Braniff Flying Colors 722s, the A321 Neos Delta by Panda, and then you got the JC Royal Air Maroc 789, and the Gemini Jets Delta Team USA A330 Neo. So here is an, a, a really nice uh, unboxing video for you guys thank you guys so so much for watching uh definitely have a few models to look forward to reviewing here and yes guys i will be reviewing models again like i said in the earlier you know not being interested in planes or aviation so you know this definitely helped out on that so thank you guys so so much for watching as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I will see you in the next video.